Hello all, thank you for considering commercial glazing services. We can be found on the web at cgs.xyz where you can download a free trial. You can check out the updates and any new products. Also watch instructional videos in the video library. They are linked to our YouTube page, which is called Commercial Glazing Services. Also search us on LinkedIn. We can be reached at cgservices.ms at gmail.com or you can call me directly, Matthew, at 610-442-8918, and I'll be happy to take your call and talk shop, even on the weekends. I'm also available for Zoom, GoToMeeting, or Microsoft Teams learning sessions. As the name implies, CGS products are created specifically for the commercial glazing market and no one else. No offense to drywallers, but we are a specialized bunch, and we require specialized software to assist in our day-to-day -day tasks increasing productivity, big confidence, and organization. CGS customers produce more accurate and professional proposals with the receipts to back it up. Please watch the remainder of this short intro video to learn about CGS's flagship software. Here we have Glass Estimator Pro, which is your Excel-based takeoff sheet on steroids. We also have Word-based Easy Proposal, which writes your proposal in seconds by importing values and descriptions from GEP. This video I'm recording now, along with others that get into specifics about GEP and EP, can be found on the Numbers tab here. I haven't uploaded any, but the link will be here. It'll be linked to the website. Also, it shares which sheet is associated with, along with the description. So without further ado, let's get into it. Glass Estimator Pro has room for everything you're expected to bid on. Here we have storefront and curtain wall. There are three of each aluminum doors, incidentals such as brake metal or mirror, typical or fire rated glass and hollow metal frames by others, all glass side lights and all glass doors, fire rated storefront and fire rated doors. Down here we have a slew of C.R. Lawrence railings. We have GRS, which I call base shoe in Lamy or temp. We have ARS with a glass infill or pickets. Also SRS standoffs for monumental staircases Z-clamps and spider fittings for a glass canopy. Down here we have aluminum windows, sunshades, and specialty doors like nano wall or half light. There's fun little buttons over here. You can hide the unused and it shows you everything you need to see and nothing you don't. GEP automatically figures every stat you can possibly imagine and returns it to you. In this case we have SF1 and it has the total price per the per in this case is square feet. When we come down to doors, per is leaf. We have a labor percentage saying that the labor price is 62% of the total price. It's a nice stat you can go by. It gives you the labor price per, which is what I prefer to work with, and the material price per. On each sheet, you will see color-coded and recognizable buttons. This one will hide the unused items. You can then unhide it. Over here, we have junior man hours. It's saying that the estimator has figured 499 man hours to install the interior storefront. If the senior estimator comes by and thinks we need 520, you can plug it in. That then adds 21. It is summed at the bottom. Then according to the price per man hour established here, it'll add a senior estimator labor ad here. You can reset the senior man hours here and it puts it back to square one. GEP is incredibly user-friendly with color-coded cells and streamlined layout, showing everything you need and nothing you don't. Let's move over here to individual totals. Here it has the same buttons, hide and unhide. All of the items are shown in this fashion. This is what Easy Proposal will read on the proposal. You can click this button to clear out the user-defined cells. They are identified by this gradient in the background. In this case, the price for aluminum is $16,000. You can plug it in. Also, if you have brake metal or Maves panels, put it in there. The price for caulk is $10 now. If the quote does not include shipping, you can add a shipment of $10 for every stock length. Just an estimate. This price is taken from the glass tab, which is here. This is where you can plug in your makeup and the price per square foot. If it's 1375, plug it in. It will then apply the energy surcharge 
and this is where you plug in your square footage. The total square footage is collected here. Then it is compared against the square footage for the openings and the ratio is here. If this ratio is below 80, you know you need to go back and refigure your square footage. This ratio is pulled from the SF tab. Since we're dealing with SF1, this here is where you plug in your values. These are values that are drawn from reports of GDS or Glazer Studio and the like. And this is where you establish your labor. You can also choose Old Castle and it will then load up the Old Castle storefront systems. You can adjust your finish and the finish your warranty. That is all reflected over here as I showed before. You can scientifically establish your labor. It is much better than just shooting from the hip with a price per square foot. Uh, these values are drawn down here and reestablished this way. So if the bays three to nine are, uh, there's 35 of them and it takes three men one hour, you can put that in. 59% of the total labor is allotted to install. There is the total man hours. There's utility. There's your price per fab, caulk, and install. If there's only one bead of caulk, you can put one. That'll be reflected on easy proposal as well. Adjust your linear feet per man hour to 10 in order to return your price per linear feet. 13% uh, of the total install price is allotted to measure and stage. 60 is allotting is allotted to setting the bays. As you can see, everything else is nicely color coded. It's uniform and you'll have no problem figuring out exactly what you're bidding. Moving over to the CRL sheets, you'll see that they are set up very much the same. They have input pane on the left. They have the database glass bar here, the labor applicator, which is established much like storefront. And finally, the CRL parts itemizer. Coming over here to base shoe tempered. This is where you plug in your values. We have two at 400 and you figure the number of pieces of glass and it'll figure the width, plug in the height and everything is here. The bolts, the taper locks, pieces of glass, polish can be adjusted here. If you want one of the widths polished, plug it in and it'll update. Much of the labor applicator is automatically figured. This is where you plug in your man hours. It has the same percentages as storefront and curtain wall. Here is the database glass bar. This is where it pulls the price per square foot. If I change this one half, it'll not only change this, but it'll change the extrusion down here on the CRL parts itemizer. This number $8.95 is drawn from the glass database. Here we have prices for annealed and tempered. Come down to half inch clear and change this to $8.50. That will change on the fly. And there it is, the energy surcharge is applied and the total glass price is here. If you'd like to use the database glass price, you can. If you want to print a glass RFQ, you can do so here. Here's your PDF that you send out. It has the due date on it. It also has the due date in the name and the glass makeup and the name of the job. Coming back here, we have the CRL parts, parts itemizer. Some of the values are automatically figured from the input bar. We need to optimize the extrusions. So click this button, it optimizes the 10 foot. It plugs in the number here. It'll also show you what it did here. So there is your cut sheet. This is what it produced and that's the change it made. You can adjust the percentage add back down to zero. You can also figure the 20 foot stock length by clicking this button. You can choose from one of them. Let's get rid of the 20. Delete BST 20. That will get rid of the cut sheet and return this back to zero. Everything else then reacts. If we want to move it back up to 10%, we can do so. 
this is a dependent dropdown. It'll change the item numbers and you can change all these all this stuff. There is a drop down list cheat sheet down here. Once you've figured everything, you can adjust your RFQ due date. This is one day prior to the due date of your project. If we put it 1013, it'll go to Wednesday. That is now Tuesday. If we go four days prior, it'll jump over the weekend. Print CRL RFQ, it'll get rid of the values that have zero. It'll then print it in PDF. It has the name of the job, the due date. It creates a, a uh, PDF, tells you it's been created. There it is. Send out your RFQs, get your quote back, come over here to individual totals, and you can plug in your prices. So this is the, let's clear this out. It'll show up like this. These are your database prices for glass and aluminum. There's aluminum and there's glass. If you get your quote back, you can apply it there. You can uncheck these. It retains the value of the glass and CRL database, but only applies the cost that you had figured. Your proposal is ultimately the product that is purchased. So ensuring that it is professional, informative, accurate, and uniform is paramount. Ensuring the accuracy of your proposal is just as important as the value of it. After putting all of your effort into getting your takeoff correct, the last thing you want to do is start typing up a proposal. Even if your number isn't low, your proposal will stay on top of the stack, be brought to meetings, and given a second look from your customer, the general contractor. The relationship between Glass Estimator Pro and Easy Proposal is a thing of beauty. Here, it shares what Easy Proposal will write about the given item. Over here on the Finals tab, we are going to let the GC know that the shop drawings and PE stamp are included. The mockups are an add of 8600, while testing is not applicable. We're also going to share a prevailing wage ad. Here, you plug in the price per man hour for each discipline, and you do the same for prevailing wage. To add the install ad alternate, you would set this. You would also set the caulk and leave fab and transit out. The difference is here. The ad for the senior man hours is distributed for the prevailing wage, and 661-300 is ultimately going to be shared on Easy Proposal. You also figure your project street address, the city state. You plug in the project name, the due date, and the drawing set. Over here on GC is where you add the general contractors who you typically work with. We're going to be sending this to the king of pop. So you come over here to final, go to this drop down, and choose MJ. You then save it and close it and we are going to import from GEP into EP. Here we have Easy Proposal open. We are going to import the information from Glass Estimator Pro by using Use an Existing List on the CGS tab. Click it, navigate to where the copy is, select this underscore zero EP import, ensure that this is set, and hit OK. It automatically goes to mailings. This button is also on CGS. Click it, and there it is in all its glory. It shares the information from uh, SF1 here. SF2 is a total of zero. It also has zero openings. We can hide that, and then also we can hide the prices for the individual items. You're pretty much good to go. Uh, Toggle this to see what is a mail merge. It is 
typical text. You can click right inside it and click and type whatever you like. Uh, you configure your inclusions, exclusions, clarifications, get rid of it if you don't want to add it. Uh, it shares 46 total openings, approximate square footage. And here is all your items in all its glory. Uh, the door packages are very nice. You can click from the drop down, medium, narrow, or wide. All these are customized and drop downs as well. You can get rid of your inclusions if you don't want them. It shares the total number of openings, clarifies the quantity, whether or not they're exterior or interior, and whether or not they're pairs or singles. Very nice. Everything is all neatly described. Here are the mirrors, restroom mirror. It, all, it even clarifies where the mirrors are, the number of pieces and the approximate square foot. Same thing with typical and fire rated. Clear annealed in doors 13 and 14 is all things that you figure. Clearly you wouldn't do clear annealed, but you would want to make it tempered. Over here, the shop drawings are included. The P PE stamp is included as well. Mockups is, is an alt add. Testing is not applicable and prevailing wage is shared. With CGS products, reviewing a bid against a contract is a breeze. Once it is signed, handing the project over to project management and the accounting department with everything in order ensures the project runs smoothly and your bid retains its accuracy. Because GEP and EP properly name and date files, the project folder is in order and everyone in the office can pick up where the estimator left off. While the other tabs in GEP provide every application of labor and material, the Schedule Values tab is the well from which the project is drawn. Much like the final and individual tabs, the Schedule Value is a finals tab as well. It is over here to the right, however, because it is used as a portal from estimating the PM and accounting once the contract is signed. GCs may request it as a part of the submittal process as well. The items are presented vertically. The man hours are shared according to discipline, then totaled. Monetarily applied, subtotaled. Utility is broken out because I understand some companies prefer it that way. The cost, markup, tax, and sell is all broken out according to each material type, then total. There are values on here that are not found anywhere else. 781,000, for instance, is the total sell price for material and labor for storefront and curtain wall. Aluminum doors are broken out. The labor is separated between exterior and interior. You'll see the typical buttons here. You can hide unused. For this demo, I have a lot of the items filled out, so it's rather wide. Uh, here are the shops, PE, mock-up, and uh, the total sell. And you can also just show the totals as well. CGS's vision is in the direction of post-contract products. Feedback is encouraged as to how this sheet and subsequent ones are to be assembled. An idea is a copy of this matrix below representing however many phases are in the construction process. One could be procurement, another storefront fabrication, another install doors, and so on. Since the scope of each phase, payment schedules, and progress reports vary from one contract to another, making the sheet versatile yet specific is the goal. Perhaps this endeavor isn't sought after as many companies rely on QuickBooks, but I get the impression that the program may fall short when tracking labor. Due to its versatility, Google Sheets may be a preferable way to track man hours in the field. Nevertheless, a sheet that can be imported by QuickBooks would be relatively simple to create given the wealth of information the SOV and other tabs present. And rest assured, CGS will continue creating products to make your life as a commercial glazing contractor easier.